then if I could go back, I would implement that into the beginning of my weight loss journey for sure. Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin and I lost 50 pounds. And in today's video, we are gonna be doing a weight loss q and I had you guys ask me some questions over on my Instagram. So if you're not already following me over there, go ahead and give me a follow. And if you wanna support my content in any way, don't forget to give me a like, a share, a comment, and obviously don't forget to subscribe to my channel. With all that being said, let's get started. So a question that I got a lot was, how long did it take you to see results? Was yoga the only activity that you did? I don't really remember the exact amount of time that it took for me to see results, but results are so relative. Are you talking about the number on the scale? Are you talking about how you're feeling in your body? Are you talking about how your clothes are fitting? There's so many different measuring factors of results so it's all so different but I'm sure that I started to see results within the first month and that got me motivated and excited to keep on going but there's gonna be times when you're not going to see results so it's really important to practice discipline so you can see those results because you won't see any results if you give up did people treat you differently after weight loss and yes people did treat me a lot differently after weight loss maybe it's just my perspective change and I wasn't really noticing it because I was looking down at the ground all the time before but people started to treat me a lot nicer after I did lose weight how did you keep going even when you felt like giving up so the thing about continuing your weight loss journey is that motivation is a feeling it's going to come and go discipline and really committing to your goals is actually what's going to give you results but if you just rely on motivation alone then you're really not gonna see any results because you're not going to feel like moving your body. You're not always going to feel like eating a healthier option or not binging or whatever the case, but definitely have to practice discipline over motivation. Speaking of working out, what's your best working out advice? Definitely weight training. I wish I would have pushed this more in the beginning, but instead I really focused on hot yoga, but I also did hot Pilates, which I didn't even realize that I was doing, but I was doing hot Pilates with weights. And so that's what was helping me tone up in addition to losing weight, but I wish I would have started lifting heavier in the beginning, but I was so intimidated by the weights. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna get really bulky. I'm not gonna like the way that I look. Now that I'm lifting weights more consistently, I really love it. And if I could go back, I would implement that into the beginning of my weight loss journey for sure. What do you usually eat in a day when you're fasting? I like to start off my day with a lot of protein and a cute little carb um, just to help to keep me full. So for example, I will have like an avocado toast. Lately, I've been into putting cottage cheese on my toast as well and then adding some tomatoes on top of that, but then I'll also have an additional source of protein with that, whether that's like turkey bacon or an egg, but something extra for added protein on top of the cottage cheese. And then if I'm feeling snacky that day, I'll maybe have like a snack in between until it comes time for dinner. And then for dinner, I'll kind of just have something random, whether that's like beef tacos. I just recently got into eating beef and I hadn't eaten beef in like 15 years or something. Or I'll do my classic salmon and rice combo. But just as long as I have a protein and a carb, then that's usually what I'll have. And then if I really feel like it, then I'll also have dessert. I definitely don't deprive myself. I do have all the things that I love to eat, but just everything in moderation. What's the best everyday meals? I'm struggling with carb intake and feeling full. Your best friend is going to be protein. Protein is what's going to help you feel full. It's gonna help you feel less snacky. And the best way to do this is to eat your protein first and slow down when you're eating so you can send that hormone to your brain to let you know that you're full, that leptin hormone, and then eat that protein and then eat the carbs. But if you don't do it that way, that's also fine but I definitely would slow down while you're eating to help you feel full and really prioritize protein. And the number one way that you're going to lose fat is through a calorie deficit. That's why intermittent fasting works so well is because it naturally puts you into a caloric deficit. 
And last but not least, we have what is the best way to start with intermittent fasting? And the best way to start, like I say in all my videos, is to start with 12 hours and work your way up to 16 hours. And if you need any help with that, I do have a 21 day intermittent fasting course where we start with 12 hours and throughout the 21 days, we work our way up to the 16 hours together every single day so if you want to check it out i do have it linked down in the description box below but that comes to the end of my video if you have any questions let me know down in the comments below or you can always message me over on instagram and if you found this video helpful in any way don't forget to share it with your friends share it with your family and if you want to support my content don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i love you guys so much and i'll See you in the next video. Bye.